Hey everybody, so I just wanted to jump on here and leave my review for the new Netflix original series, Beef. Now this show stars both Ali Wong and Steven Yoon. And I gotta say, as soon as the show uh, completely started, I just, I knew I was in for a ride. I knew as the audience we were gonna be in for a real treat. This is also in association with A24. And if you know me, I love everything that A24 puts out. Even if the movie or the project isn't so much their best, I still appreciate their aesthetic. I like their style. I like the way they advertise. I just really adore A24. So knowing that this was a partnership with Netflix, I thought, okay, cool. Two awesome companies joining forces. What could go wrong? And let's just say I had a complete blast with Beef. Mostly because of Steven Yoon and Ali Wong. I mean, they've got great chemistry here, which is funny because they're playing antagonists. And this all begins because of a road rage, it's, uh, excuse me, a road rage incident that just goes wrong. And from there, the show just does not let up. These two cannot seem to let that go. This is clearly a great examination of what grudge holding looks like and how two people just can't seem to uh, make amends and forgive. So it would be a lot easier, but of course, if they did that very quickly, then we wouldn't have the show. So their lives start to spiral. They can't seem to get like these thoughts out of their head. Every waking minute is now consumed by just this one run-in and this incident that takes place in the very first episode. And shit just keeps hitting the fan left and right. You are like on this ride from start to finish. I will say there are a few episodes where I thought were a little bit slower than others. There are moments where I didn't think they were as interesting as other poignant moments because the show can definitely get very personal, very deep. It's funny at times, but I wouldn't necessarily call the show a comedy. It's definitely like a dark comedy, but there's a lot of satire here for sure, which makes the funny fall into place. But for the most part, I was actually feeling kind of, you know, bad for each of them because both of them are just having their own crumble and downfall in their own personal lives, aside from the feud that they're going through together. But that feud definitely does not uh, help them in any way uh, mend any of the relationships in their interpersonal lives. This only makes things worse. But watching these two uh, wonderful talents work together was just so much fun. I had an absolute blast. I think by the way the show concludes, for me personally, it does feel at times a little bit incomplete. Maybe we'll get more of this. Maybe this is just a one-off. If it should conclude where it did, I mean, I would be okay with that in the sense of perhaps there is no other story worth uh, continuing. But at the same time, I could see how they can maybe navigate um, continuing the story possibly. Does it need to? Not necessarily. But like I said, a part of it did feel somewhat incomplete. I could just be, you know, overthinking that, and this is kind of an initial reaction to the show. But uh, overall, those little, you know, small details that I had struggles with, um, I still think the show is really fun and worth your time. There's a reason why it's so popular right now and still number one on Netflix. And it's one of those shows that if you haven't seen it yet, definitely give it a watch. I'd love to know what you think of it. I think the very opening, uh, like, five minutes are the best when the road rage begins and he's going after her and so on and so forth. It is just really fun. So it's one of those shows that I'd really like to pick other people's brains with. And uh, what were some of your thoughts on some of the conclusions to some of the characters? There's a moment in like episode nine, I believe, where I was like jaw dropped um, at something that happens to uh, one of the characters in the show, which I won't spoil. But man, oh man, I was a little bit like taken back by that. I did not see that coming. However, it's one of those shows that, uh, again, don't watch necessarily with children. It's not for them, but it is definitely a fun show for you and your friends, your significant other, just to sit on the couch, be cozy with, and just have a good time. It's very easy to get through. It's only 10 episodes. I believe they're about 30 minutes a piece, um, but real simple watch, but I enjoyed it. Beef was a lot of fun. Let me know what you guys thought of Beef and if you enjoyed it just as much as I did. Did you have any small little concerns or comments or little criticisms like I did, which are not really big, but just small changes or small things that you would like to have seen more of? Let me know in the comments below. And yeah, love to continue this conversation on this show because it is definitely one of uh, the better made shows um, in recent months. So I'm excited to keep talking about it. Yeah, let me know your thoughts and thanks for listening.